What was our hardest time together and how did we overcome it? It was definitely when you told your parents about us or just about you when yeah. you came out. Yeah, in June. We both changed. Like, like it made us like bond. Like it just made us love each other more, understand each other more. But also it tore you and your parents apart. I have learned a lot from you and like how to deal with them and how to think about myself and not internalize all those things as much and just be like, you know, it's okay to love you and it's okay to be myself, even if that means. So like you think it's affected the way you've loved me? Yeah. Really? I don't think it's affected it in a bad way, but. Just in a different way? Yeah, because I think sometimes I have this guilt, like I'm failing my parents or like doing something wrong because they've made it very clear that they wish that, you know, I was with a guy or that, you know, I should just keep this to myself and everything. It gets the best of me because I just feel like I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. And, Literally. And everyone's like, you need to do this and you need to be this person. And you can't be with her and don't tell him about it. And it's just so much sometimes, but it just makes me realize like, how much I love you because I would not go through any of this for anyone else. <laughs> like never in a million years. So you really do like keep me sane and make me feel safe even when everything else is a hot mess. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is one experience you wish I didn't have? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish that you never, I guess, had to feel the pressure that you felt when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Like um, your mom raised you just by herself and um, you helped a lot, you know, with two younger sisters and you were basically just raising them with your mom. And it's just like, you didn't really get a childhood. I wish little Layla didn't have to go through that. I think I just wish that, like, that my dad was there. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't ever want you to feel like like you were the second choice because you're not because you're amazing and you know like I just don't want you to feel that way like you're, you you don't have to put yourself in that situation where you you you're being cho like he's choosing that over you mm -hmm. and it's not true like, he loves you. He loves you very much. And I just wish you, you would have saw that when you were a kid. Yeah. Because you deserved it. Mm. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, what's a New Year's re resolution you know I'm going to keep more? Oh, I think, um, like, continuing to, like, get help and to be more open and everything. Because I know you had your whole, like, what can I call it, a breaking point? Or you just had your moment where you're like, okay, something needs to change. And I need to, you know, be, like, active and present for myself. You know, I just want you to love yourself the way that I love you, and which is like a lot. And um, I want you to feel comfortable 
about everything, like about who you are and your family and your past. And I just want you to find peace. And I do think that you're going to continue on your like self-love <laughs> growth journey. Are we manifesting right now? Yes. Okay. Like I put you on all that affirmations <laughs> and stuff. Like it's a beautiful thing to watch and I'm excited for you. Sure. You know, the way the way I grew up was definitely different. A lot mm -hmm. different. Um, I think I had some guilt too with my parents and also like a little bit of abandonment issues going on there. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, I don't know, I think that you just made me feel like I, I'm worth it. Like I'm worth being here, I'm worth, mm. I'm worth like, Stop. worth being loved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. If this were to be our last conversation, what's one thing you'd never want me to forget? Mm. How special you are. How you don't need anyone. You really don't. Like you, you can you can do everything. You can do whatever you want, and you can accomplish so much, and you can live your life how you want to, without being you know pressured by people telling you who you need to be or how you need to act or like. It's frustrating sometimes, but I understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, if you let all these people, like all their expectations of you, if you let them go, like I know you'd be thriving. Like, <laughs> you're already thriving right now. Mm -hmm. And you've been so strong and like with everything you do, you can live life to the fullest without anyone. I mean, I'll always be there for you, but... Oh, it's so sad. I'm like, why no, come with me. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll just be like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. What you mean, though? Oh. Thank you. Of course. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. Hey, it's Ashika here from The Skin Deep. Thank you so much for being here and watching this conversation. If you want to have more meaningful conversations like this at home, some of our best questions are in this card game right here. To check it out, go to shop.theskindeep.com. Thank you.